Hello, welcome back to lunchtime. So I'm going to make these snack noodles today. They're kind of like a copy of pot noodle and chicken and mushroom. Yeah, um, I've also got these instant noodles. And today I went shopping again and I bought a few things. What did I buy? Um, that's my bed. Who's outside? Well, actually, I didn't buy much. I was going to get a mop kind of um, broom thing with wet tissues on it so I could clean the floor. But instead, I just got these uh, dish rags. I could wet them, make them wet, and then just wipe the floor with my hand. And then for the shower room, I put this rod up here because it was kind of weird having a shower and not having any clothing on and you're standing in front of this big window. I don't think anyone could see me, but it felt a bit embarrassing. So I put this here and I put my Egyptian cotton bed sheet so I can just drag it over. And then you've got a bit of a curtain here. It's not a very good one though. I need a bigger sheet and one that doesn't get rounded at the end. And I got this bath foam so I can have a nice bubble bath later. Whew, today's very hot, another hot day. And I feel like this, this room gets pretty hot as well, even though the sun's not shining into it. Um, what else I get? Yeah, I got a lot of food from Aldi. So I'm going to start eating eggs more, just boil them easy peasy. And I've got some broccoli, I've got these hash brown things, i got chicken strips and fish fingers pizza and some pie. So I think that's good for my shopping, should last me a few days. But for lunch I think I'll just have these, they are how many calories? Ooh, 400 calories, wow, that's quite a lot, considering it's quite a small pot. Every time I talk to someone here, they always ask me if I'm a student. It's happened like four times now. So today, when I came home, I got onto the elevator, and there was a guy, and he started talking to me. He asked me if I'm a student. It's really weird. Why did they keep thinking I'm a student? And then I didn't know what to say, so I just said no. And then there was like a really awkward silence because I didn't know what else to say after that. I said no. I think I said no twice actually. And then there was like this awkward silence and then he asked me how long I've been living here. I, I can't really think of a good reply to are you a student apart from no. What else could I say? I could say no, I just moved here. But then eventually time's gonna pass where I've been here, live, living here for a few months, and I can't say I just moved here anymore. What do you say? Could say, no, I'm not a student, are you? <laughs> and then he said, uh, it's expensive living here. Is it really? I don't know why people keep saying it's expensive to live here. It's only like 800 pounds a month. Maybe in Manchester, 800 pounds a month is considered expensive. Very strange. I don't know how to, um give them a good answer without sounding like I'm being rude because if I just say no it just sounds a bit blunt doesn't it okay what's in here what's that noise someone watching a learn English video out on the corridor very weird hmm anyway so yeah they've got soy sauce in here Let's see if it smells like pot noodle Oh, it does smell like pot noodle. <laughs> Why is it bubbling? And then we leave it for a few minutes, and that's my lunch. Plus, I'll have an orange. I always had a sandwich earlier. What else do I need to do? 
Um, don't know. Don't know what to do now. Now I've got my place sorted out. Still need to do the bills. Switched them over to my name. Can't do that until next week. So, yeah, what do I do with my life now? That is the question. There was some big protest going on in the center. I saw some of the signboards, they were carrying something. It said something like F Boris or Boris F's Satan. I think they're anti-Boris people, but there was so many people just marching and shouting is kind of annoying. Uh, I can't wait for this weather to finish. I just feel so drained all the time. And I'm not even wearing a lot of clothing, I'm just wearing my t-shirt. Try to have this door open most of the time to let air in. But I just feel so low on energy. Kind of feel like the excitement of getting my own place is worn off already. You might be thinking, wow, that was quick. You only just moved in here. You only had one night. Last night was okay. The problem is it was Friday night and it was a bit noisy on the street because you get these these car people who love revving their car engines. And they were revving their car engines, sound like sports cars or something, at 3 a.m. in the morning. And it was a bit annoying, a bit loud. And the other problem is it's always bright 24-7. So during the day, it's really bright. And I don't really have like a dark room to ex escape to. Because this window is just, you know, always there. And I don't have any curtains. And then at night, even at night, it's bright because the lights are all on all the time outside. The city lights are on on all night. And then um, even the sky is not black. It's kind of still dark blue. And you can still even see the clouds from all the lights coming out from the city. So it just feels like 24-7, there's no darkness. Maybe I can get used to it. I don't really want to have to get more of these extension rods and then I have to find some kind of sheet to turn into a makeshift curtain. Maybe it'll get darker later in the year. I hope it's not going to be this bright all year round. I just don't like it when it's too bright. Also the shower head's really not good. I don't know why, maybe because it's not fitted tightly. But when the water's coming out of the little chute things, it all comes out the side as well and it makes... It doesn't come down in a focused spray. It just kind of comes out all over the place. So I had to hold the shower head to, um, to concentrate the shower direction, water, the water direction onto me. It's a bit annoying. Let me show you. So it makes a bit of a mess. See? Look at that. It gets all over the place, the water. So um, I have to get into the shower, unhook it, and then turn it on so I can control where it's splashing everywhere. Not a great shower head. It's not really a great shower experience. These noodles look quite good, actually. Smells good. Smells just like pot noodle. How can they copy pot noodle almost exactly and not get into legal problems? I like the consistency of the noodles, too. That looks really good. Starting to get very hungry. I think for the next few days, I'm just going to stay at home. Been outside a lot the last few days. I feel kind of tired. I've got enough food to last me for a bit. <sighs> Just that one last thing I have to do is stupid bills. Still don't really know what to do. I guess I have to phone up the electric company. <laughs> I guess I'll just get back to what I usually do. Play Switch, watch YouTube, eat food. Bit boring, isn't it? <sighs> oh well. 
See you next time.